Hi friends, Mrs. Day here with our small group activity. For our small group activity today, we are going to be drawing and describing art. For this activity, you will need your journal, you're going to need some crayons, and you're definitely going to need a pencil. So go grab your three supplies and it's time for us to get started. Once you have your supplies, we are going to start to think about things that grow in trees. So for example, there's lots of fruits that grow in trees. You can draw a picture of a beautiful apple tree or a banana tree, maybe a coconut tree. I really like to drink lemonade, so I'm going to draw a picture of a lemon tree. Maybe you don't want to draw a fruit tree, but instead you want to draw a tree with pine cones in it or a tree with acorns in it. So let's pause and think, what grows in trees? That is the topic for our journal today. Once you have your supplies, it's time for us to get started. Here we go. Okay, kiddos, so for this activity, you will need your tree journal and something to color with as well as something to write with. So I have all three of my supplies and it's time for me to get started. Let's open up our journal to our next empty page. Here's my next empty page. You can see I have my space for my picture and my space for my words down at the bottom. For our journal today, we are going to draw and describe art. Our topic is all about things that grow in trees. So for example, we can think of something that grows in a tree. Maybe you want to draw apples, an apple tree, or a banana tree, maybe a coconut tree. I think I'm going to draw a lemon tree because I like to drink lemonade. So in my journal, I'm going to draw a great big tree and I'm going to put some beautiful yellow lemons in my tree and I'm going to make a lemon tree. Alrighty, it's time to use your crowns and get started. Here we go. Ta-da! Here is my lemon tree. You can see my great big brown tree trunk with my big fluffy green leaves. And if you look very closely, you can see my itty bitty yellow lemons in my tree. I drew a lemon tree. Now that I'm finished with my drawing, it's time for me to switch to my words down at the bottom. Now parents, you have two options to help your children write their sentence. You can either tell them each letter one at a time and they can write them down forming, forming words and the sentence or you can use a yellow marker or a yellow highlighter and you can write the words and allow your child to trace it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like using the yellow marker or the yellow highlighter and I want you to see what it looks like when your child traces. Okay, here's my sentence. If you look very closely, you can see my sentence, lemons grow on trees. Now I used a highlighter to write the letters in each of the words to form a sentence. Now that I have the letters on the paper, using the pencil, the children can trace each of the letters that they see in order to write the words and the one beautiful sentence on their paper. So here's my letters. Okay, my sentence says, lemons grow on trees. When your child finishes writing the letters in each of the words and their sentence is all complete, have them practice reading what they wrote. And they're gonna need some assistance with this. So get out their pointer finger and have them tap each word one at a time as they read. Lemons grow on trees. And if they get stuck reading one of their words, that's okay, help them through it because right now the children are not able to read independently. They're just practicing learning how to recognize words and that words have meaning. If they get even a little bit stuck, have them reference back to what they drew. I drew lemons should be the word lemons. I drew a tree, so in my sentence should be the word tree. And have see if they can identify some of the words that match what they drew. 
l l lemons starts with the letter L. Here's a word that starts with the letter L. This word must say lemons. T t tree starts with a T. Here's my letter T. This word must say tree. All right, my buddies, when you're all finished with your journal, you can close up your journal and put your supplies away for another day. Parents, if you'd like, you can take a picture of your child with their journal and send it to their teacher. That way their teacher can see all of the hard work that your child did during this activity. All right, my buddies, I hope you had fun drawing your pictures today. I can't wait to see your beautiful work. See you soon. Bye-bye.